Hello, my name is Rini Pierpont. I'm a Pediatric Neuropsychology Fellow in the Division of Clinical Behavioral Neuroscience at the University of Minnesota. I'm delighted to record this video podcast to discuss a research paper, paper recently published in Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology entitled Attention Skills and Executive Functioning in Children with Noonan Syndrome and Their Unaffected Siblings. This paper describes a study I conducted in collaboration with Dr. Amy Roberts and Erica turag Juby at Boston Children's Hospital. Noonan syndrome is a relatively common genetic condition that occurs in approximately 1 in 1,000 to 1 in 2,500 births. Clinical features associated with Noonan syndrome include congenital heart disease, growth delays, and distinctive facial characteristics. Noonan syndrome can be caused by mutations in one of several genes that are expressed in a common molecular signaling pathway known as the RAS MAP kinase pathway. Mutations in the same signaling pathway can also cause other related genetic syndromes, including neurofibromatosis type 1. These syndromes are collectively referred to as the rasopathies. Notably, Many people with Noonan syndrome and other rasopathies experience some degree of developmental delay, and in some cases, cognitive, social, or behavioral impairments. We still have a lot to learn about precisely how the altered expression of each of the RAS pathway genes affects brain functioning. However, recent research reveals that certain RAS pathway proteins play a role in modulating release of neurotransmitters in the prefrontal cortex and the basal ganglia. These regions of the brain are known to be critical for our ability to focus and maintain attention to tasks in our daily lives. This led my colleagues and I to ask the question, how is regulation of attention and related functionings impacted by having a rasopathy like Noonan syndrome? Although we've known for some time that nearly half of children with neurofibromatosis type 1 exhibit symptoms consistent with a diagnosis of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, there have been no previous studies investigating attention skills in Noonan syndrome or other rasopathies. We studied a group of 32 children diagnosed with Noonan syndrome and a comparison group of 16 of their unaffected siblings. In this study, we found that 31% of the children with Noonan syndrome had previously been diagnosed with ADHD, a rate that's higher than the rate of this diagnosis in the general population, and also higher than the rate of um, ADHD di diagnosis among unaffected siblings. We also found that when using both DSM criteria-based scales and broadband behavior scales like the Child Behavior Checklist, Parents of children with Noonan syndrome rated their children as having significantly greater symptoms of inattention, hyperactivity, and executive dysfunction than their siblings. We then administered a set of three behavioral tasks that directly assessed attention skills, um, including auditory attention, sustained attention over time, and the child's ability to monitor and inhibit their responses. Compared to their unaffected siblings, children with Noonan syndrome had greater difficulty with all three of these attention tasks. Notably, in this sample, attention regulation skills were more strongly correlated with intellectual test performance in the Noonan syndrome group than in the comparison group. This finding suggests that ADHD symptoms may interfere with the ability of some children with Noonan syndrome to learn and retain information or perhaps to demonstrate their true cognitive capacities. Our findings support the view that mutations throughout the RAS pathway can impact a, ch a child's ability to regulate attention. Furthermore, our results highlight the importance of clinical evaluation for ADHD among individuals with Noonan syndrome, with the goal to provide appropriate interventions that reduce the functional impact of attention problems on academics and work functioning, on social relationships, or on general, general well-being. I hope you've enjoyed learning about our research, and I invite you to read our article in Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology to learn more about attention skills in children and adolescents with Noonan Syndrome.